did you know that helping your preschooler increase his or her vocabulary doesn't require complex reading or special books or special skills even. It's something any of us can do right at home. Hi, I'm Ms. Catherine, one of the children's librarians here at the Chatham Area Public Library. And today we're starting a new video series called Preschool Pointers. Each of these videos is going to offer a quick literacy tip for caregivers of preschoolers. Each video in this series is going to have a focus, a fact, and of course, some fun. Our focus today is on how to build a bigger vocabulary through labeling. It's an easy habit to get into with your little person wherever you go, whatever you are doing. Here's our fact. Did you know that giving your children more words, even through speech, can yield benefits in their later understanding and reading performance. That's exciting because just talking with your child is free and easy to do. So now here comes the fun. How do you give them the gift of all these words that are going to benefit them later on? It may feel silly or weird or excessive at first, but you'll get in the habit. Maybe it's in your kitchen. You show them items like a ladle, a can opener, a spatula. We're not trying to make them into Julia Child. We're just telling them the names of things. At the gas station, you can play a game with your older kid. Do they know what this thing is called? The nozzle, I think. Or you can ask them if they know what the name of this thing is. Do you know what the name of this thing is? With older kids, you can also turn it into a game or maybe you tease with them a little bit. So for instance, at the playground, you could say, I love swinging on the swings. Hopefully that gets a response from them where they say, you're not on the swings, you're on the merry-go-round. You could also Look at the different types of swings, different types of equipment, give it funny names. So for instance, the swing here, it could be obviously a tire swing, but you could make up your own name for it, a circle swing. The good thing is, is you're making up the rules. Just make it fun. You can do this. Don't wait for them to ask you questions. Just start labeling all the things and all the places that you go day in and day out. If you're interested in some books from the Chatham Library to support you in your new habit, click on the description box below for a couple of suggestions I have for you. And join me next week for another fun idea to help the little person in your life get ready to read.